प्लीज लेट मी गो प्लीज लेट मी गो आई नो यू बी कर के मी प्लीज लेट मी गो प्लीज This broad daylight. Let's listen to the morning man, not the nightmare. Because we are already well into the morning. Mary, I am serious. I am serious. Don't joke with this. What? A, a monster ripped me. Jesus Christ. A monster did what? Ripped me. He. He must have ripped you. Shakira. This calls for serious prayers. We oh. must eat deliverance. Yes, eat deliverance. Mary, stop scaring me now. Stop scaring me. Do, do you think it's something serious? Shakira, making love in the dream, it is bad, okay? <laughs> Not to talk of a monster raping you. It is bad. Huh? Oh, Mary, no. You're scaring me. <laughs> what do you want me to do now? It's really Remember something. What? Apart from forcing me to have sex with it, mm -hmm. I, I became pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I have a baby. Oh! Shakira, in that syndrome, I will stay here. We bind every spirit of monster, every spirit of demonic power. We bind them in the name of Jesus. Father, you said in your word that we're two or more gathered. You say you're here with us, Father. Be with us in the mighty name.
go. Listen, I, uh, I've been looking for you all over the place. Need to talk to you one on one. Well, I went to the village. I went to see my mom. Yeah, I was good. Mark, you're aware I'm going for the SUG presidency. Yes, I'm aware. I need us to talk. You understand? It is to talk one on one about that. I want to make a deal with you. What sort of deal? I want you to step down. Are you alright? Huh? <laughs> well, I look alright. Um, let me explain this to you. You see, for every man, there's a destiny. It is the destiny of my family that I become the president of this great country. And in order to prepare me for that destiny, they see the SUG presidency as a stepping stone to prepare me. So where do I come in? Simple. I'm going to offer you one million naira to step down. <laughs> Scott, I don't need your money. The students need me. But you need my money. Think of what you can do with one million naira. You know what? Let me, let, let me be even more generous. <laughs> Owing to the fact that I'm a philanthropist and all, you know. I'll give you two million because I know you're a man of responsibilities and you need to take care of your brother. Scott, I don't need your money. It's, it's a simple thing. Don't you understand? Hmm. Let me give you three million at least, for the sake of your mother. Don't you ever talk about my mother again, do you understand me? Then take the three million, then I'll stop talking about your wretched, poor, depraved, crawling mother. Three million. What do you want to do? Come back here. Come back here! Scott, let me do Mark. this guy! No, no, no. Three million! Mark! party must convene an emergency meeting right away. Yes, all, all hands must be on deck to get us to the presidency. We must seize the affairs of this country if uh, if, if we have to either succeed. And the only way, if you have to be sure that the presidency is the only way for us to do it, then let us do it. Yes. Uh-huh. Right. Just get it done, okay? I'll get back to you. Yes. Bye. Scott, you should have known that I was on the phone. And I'm sorry, Dad. I wasn't thinking. I'm really sorry. Yes, what is it? It's as regards what we discussed the last time. Uh, look, Scott. The Faculty of Humanity has a set of rules governing it. That you're the Grand Lord of the FOH. The world is final. You have to assist me to be the president of our um, union government. It's that simple. Okay. If I do that, I would have broken one of our rules. And nobody is above the rules. Men make rules, Dad. A man breaks it, twists it around to suit his purpose. Dad, I can't overemphasize the need for me to be president of that union. It's for the collective good of our family, you know. The Faculty of Humanity stands for justice. I would not do that. Faculty from both. Given a chance, you now would have been a member from the primary school level. Well, the Faculty of Humanity is for matured minds. That is why you have to become a member when you are in year three in the universities. I am already in my third year. I'm finishing third year in a few months. Then wait until you are initiated according to the rules. Then 
is going to be late by that time. Where are you over the weekend? Oh, come on, Mark. It's our third year in the university, and I can take care of myself. I can handle things. I see you boost up your campaign. Yeah, 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 I did. But come on, I'm duly bound to take care of you. Don't you know that? <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's just get a PAS, and we can announce to the whole school. Hello, everybody. Dave is my younger brother. Stay away. <laughs> Hey. But anyhow, you're too engrossed in campus politics to even notice that we stay in the same room, you know. But you know, the students need me, okay, and uh, we have to pull them out of the academic dunghill. That's what we say. But all the same, uh, that I'm involved in campus politics doesn't mean that I shouldn't keep my eyes on you. Mm -hmm. At least so that you won't dash your feet against a stone. Oh, you're gonna get hurt. Okay, then, since you want to play the mother hen, no doubt about that, why don't you change your department and come to mine? Or be my bodyguard, for instance. Stop. Follow me around. Stop. Stop. You want to be the mother <laughs> hen, right? <laughs> all the same, I'm just... Coming back from the village. Oh, really? How's mama? Mommy's fine. Oh, God. She provided our school fees. At last. Are you serious? Oh, my God, you... You're not kidding? I'm not kidding. How did she do it? I don't know. That woman's a genius. She's a she's a savior. She is. She is. I love I love that woman. You have no idea how much I love her. I'm not as much as I do. You know what I pray for every day, Mark? Is that God gives her long life for her to reap the fruit of her labor. That's all I pray for. Amen. That's my prayer too. I'm telling you, she is too good. Ever since father died and passed away, she's just been taking all the responsibility by herself. Oh man, we owe her. We owe her a lot. I can't wait to get out of the university and you know, get a good job and take care of her. Take very good care of her. Get to that moment, whether you be with killing me or my uh you know Dave. Dave, I'm talking. You know, only whores go around town with men. Do you know that? Only whores. Dave, has something gone wrong with you? Oh no! The reverse is the case. You're the one something is wrong with. You're the one who's gone absolutely mad. And you know something? I wish I was not enough to knock off that he got brain in your head. I swear to God. I would love to do it. Dave, let her go. You can't hold her back. Oh, Shut some mouth. I wasn't asking Don't you say anything to me. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why are you complaining, Shakira? When you prepared shit for a meal, huh? What's that supposed to mean? My dear, can't you see? I mean, if your rarity complex has finished the guy, he's not even comfortable with your present status. I really don't know what you're doing with him, or I think you should just send him to the trashing machine. Scard him. Shakira! Shakira! Okay. Start. Anyway, girls, let me see Dr. Tio. Where did you? I'm sorry, sir. I was upset. Look, if you were upset, you should have dropped it outside. You shouldn't have brought it into my office. Sir, I said I'm sorry. You had better be. Now, tell me, Shakira, what has suddenly gotten over you? I don't understand. Look, you have done a 360 degrees turn around. Turn around? I still don't understand. What I'm saying is you have suddenly changed completely. Just take a look at the way you dress on campus these days. Oh, you have joined the League of the Benitas, right? Sir, what is wrong with my dresser? There's nothing wrong with it now. It's just that, you know, I, I need to grab a little free air. Free? As free as the air, probably. As free as the sea breeze. So, your newfound freedom includes exhibiting your nakedness in the name of fashion on campus. 
hanging out with all sorts of men and night clubbing. Yes. Yes. Even skipping lectures, missing tests and exams in the class. And above all, exhibiting a motopark tout syndrome. Sir, with all due respect, that I mistakenly slammed your door doesn't make me a motopark tout. Please. Look, I am very sorry for you because you have just derailed and you are headed straight down the ditch. You that used to be the pride of this class. Please, 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 sir. I have not come here for all these tutorials. Then what brought you here? I missed your paper during exams. Yes, I know you did. I need to retake it. <laughs> I weep for this university system. Did you say something? Look, for whatever reason best known to you, you missed my papers. You now barge into my office and arrogantly demand you want to rewrite the papers, just like that. Now, who the devil do you think you are? Sir, please. I am not a devil. Sir, look at it. This is my medical report. I had an accident during the exams. The doctor satisfied it. Now, get out of my office. If you need 50 fake medical reports, I can provide them for you free of charge. Shakira, you know something? I have been looking for a way all this while to tell you what a disappointment you have become to this university and to your family. Sir, you tore my medical report. Yes, I did. If you think I'm one of those lecturers who fall for your antics out there, you got it all wrong. And let me sound this note of warning. If you ever try to throw yourself at me again, I will deal with you mercilessly. Now, out of my office. Scott, don't bother yourself. I will talk to your father. Well, well, I think it's a shame that to get to my father, I have to come through you. Why can't he listen to me, his son? I mean, all I hear from people is that he's a custodian of power, of justice. What's the use of justice and power when it doesn't serve the people around you, rather other people? election is just around the corner. If I lose the election, I've lost a big dream in my life. In that case, uh, let us see him this evening. Um, I want you to come around so we can talk to him. We'll discuss about it. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. I really appreciate it. That's no problem. Let me get my shoes. I have to be driving back to school, so I'll make it in the evening. It's all right. You know, I can't seem to understand you at all. I least expect what you're saying, you know. I mean, you used to like this girl. She used to be your friend. I used to, not anymore. I mean, the Shakira that I used to know and the Shakira I saw today are two different persons. Jesus Christ, can't you see the sort of friends that she keeps these days? You know something, Mark? If you ask me, I don't see anything wrong with Shakira and her friends per se. I mean, I know they might appear wild and all that, but those other girls that look calm and all that, they, they, they're more dangerous on the inside than the likes of Shakira. Oh, you know how to help yourself. But think of mom. Think of all that she is doing to keep us here. 
Well, mom didn't bring us to school to flirt around with girls, did she? Shakira is my emotions. Once emotions are not aligned, the brain will not assimilate. No matter how serious minded a student is. Please, leave my girlfriend alone. Please. <laughs> Girlfriend, indeed. Jeez, man. Dave, don't mock yourself. Well, the guy you will see around the corner today might have taken her to bed the previous night. Yes. What? What do you want to do? You want to beat me up? Huh? Go ahead, beat up your big brother. Huh? That's gonna make you happy. Beat me up for telling you the truth. So come on, go ahead. reports I can provide them for you free of charge Shakira you know something I have been looking for a way all this while in fact this man is very wicked this Mr. Theo is so heartless in fact he's biting more than he can chew huh? that man should be grateful to his God that he's not dealing with me because if he had torn legs this medical report I would drag him and tear his shirt for crying out loud, what does he think he is anyway? Yes. Do you know what this guy has done to me? This guy has destroyed my life. Do you know, actually, this guy made me, I did not graduate. He tore my own paper, just like that. What will I do to this guy? I need to deal with this guy. Hi. Oh my God. What will Shakira do to this guy? Hey, please. Girls, tell me, what will I do to this guy? Wait, just so make this guy suffer. My dear, there's no point shouting. Just, just cool down. Yeah. Girls, please tell me, what do I do? What do I do? How can I nail this man? How can I? Shakira, I'm not sure this little thing you've got here will be enough to nail this man. It will not implicate him. It might even end up implicating you. Yes. I don't think so. Uh-uh. I don't think so. All I have to do is take this recorded voice and take it to Dr. Jerry. You know, as the HOD, he knows what to do. Play that too. What Why is play it? Yet? Why? Just, play just play it. Yet? Yet? Yes, yes, you know. What, 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 you have had enough. Please, are you going to do it or not? Let's see. Play it. Play it. Play it. Disappointment you have become to this university and to your family. Sir, you tore my medical report. Yes, I did. Yes, my dear. Dress up. Dress up. Let's come to eat there somewhere. Where? Are you going or not? You won't regret it. Let's see. Where are we going to? Dress up and let's go. Lexi, I know hey. I trust you. But I don't want to fuck up. No, no, no. Let's, let's, oh, yeah. let's go. Leave the way. Your son shares our opinion. And which is um, the supreme objective of FOH, that is to take over every aspect of our national life. And this includes the leadership of a student body. Genial. Look, we are powerless in this regard. Since the elections are coming up before our initiation, Scott is not our member yet, so we can't work for him. That, 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 that's, that has no water here. That has no water at all. What are we talking about? You're the grand lord 
all you need to do is tell them that events have changed and they need statutory for them to come in and, uh, and, and change the situation. Why is mine so different? Oh, get out. You die raise your voice against me. Father, I've been under a lot of pressure. Oh, get out. A man is proven by his strength. Take a leap and seize your future song. That should be your guiding place. I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, Lord. I would rather say we shouldn't be angry. But I have a subjection, you know, with regards to what your son was saying. My tires. I don't want us to talk about this again. Good day. Stop crying. Huh? It's all right. Stop crying. Exceptionally beautiful. Thanks, sir. Yes. You have to help me. You have to help me. He wants to ruin me. Do you know he has singled me out and vowed to deal with me in this school? Don't worry, okay? As long as you keep this between us, as a born again. I am not supposed to indulge. Sir, yes. this is going to be between us. No other ear will hear it. But sir, Dr. Tio has to bend, whether he likes it or not. He will bend. He has to. He will bend, okay? He will bend. Cheer up, lovely angel. You are a fascinating woman. I have been looking for the opportunity to tell you how I feel. Are you sure? Yes. But, sir, yeah. he hates me. Why? But come to think of it, why would the university retain a lecturer who victimizes students? Why? No, the university would not condone such. Mr. Theo is so high-handed in the name of being a social crusader. Students should be treated with kid gloves. Sir, so wait, 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 wait. Just calm down. I want you to listen to something. What is it? Just listen to me first. You tore my medical report. Yes, I did. If you think I'm one of those lecturers who fought for your antics out there, you got it all wrong. And let me sound... How did you get this? I recorded it with my cell phone, then transferred it to this thing. You mean this is Mr. Tew's voice? Of course. I can't believe this. Sir, so are you suggesting that I'm a liar? What if he denies it? He can't deny his voice. He can't. Listen, you missed your exams, no doubt. But can't you see that this tape will not hold against him? Sir. Yes. I know I trust you. I know you can do something. You can't. You said I'm a fascinating woman, didn't you? Yeah. And you're a handsome man as well. Please, whatever you want out. 
I will give to you. This is the moment we are waiting for. No more monkey around. We need to seize our destiny into our hands and turn into what we want it to be. Yeah. Let's go out. The Dracula confraternity is initiating in the next two weeks. Yeah? Yeah, right? Um, so, why don't we join them, you know? Instead yes. of waiting for the Faculty of Humanity, it's too long. What he? What do what, what one do with those people? FOH has got all the powers. If you have to do the click thing, do the right click. That's what I'm saying, man. We don't need them. Right? You know what we have to do? Mm -hmm. Let's intimidate him, Mark. We intimidate him into submission. Believe me, he's going to opt out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll back out, sure. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? What's that think of everything? <laughs> You're Scott. Oh yeah, I kind of like the ring out there. <laughs> I am Scott. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. We we'll lead him into believing that um, we're members of a deadly cult. Yeah, and that if he does not opt out of the race, he's going to lose his life. We we'll threaten him. We'll do all the things that we call people yeah, to do. Yeah. You know? Believe me, we we'll put the fear of Jesus in that motherfucker and he's going to be rolling big time. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. back out. I'm yeah. telling you, man. This is genius oh, stuff, right? Oh, it's God, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Your father. Mm -hmm. Your father's a mean man, man. It's so very mean, you know? Very mean. So, so what? It's my father. I can handle it. Listen, this stroke of genius here would do this with his father. He's out. So should come straight on that. Some more fun, we can even celebrate the victory already. <laughs> oh, Scott, I'm man. I'm telling you, man. Stop listening. No, we're taking the gloves off. No, 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 That's what I'm talking about, man. Man, we lost some weed. Let's celebrate this stuff. Man, let's do this, what? Mr. Theo, if you have anything against Shakira, or you intend having anything to do with her, this is definitely not the way to go about it. Dr. Jerry, I will not take this blackmail from you. For crying out loud, I have preserved my integrity in this university as a respectable lecturer. I am not about to lose it for her, for you, or for anyone. Well, an integrity that sent out from victim message of students is flawed. I beg your pardon, sir. Listen to this. You told my medical report. Yes, I did. If you think I'm one of those lecturers who fought for your antics out there, you got it all wrong. I will deal with you messy. How can you explain now, my office. that you are threatening to deal with your students? Wait a minute. Where did you get this from? But this is your voice. That's not what I said. This is your voice. Phil, don't let her use this against you. This is my candid advice. Excuse me. Mr. Phil! wrong with you? I am talking to you girls. Don't you have better things to do than to go about disturbing the whole campus? Mary! Mary, I thought you said you were born again. So what about it? Look at you. Don't you have Cotty? Eh? Don't you know what Cotty is? Imagine. Anyway, I don't blame you. You're just deceiving yourself. Anyway, you have your rooms. And I wonder how Shakira has been acting up with you all this while. But just, just be warned because we are not your mates on this campus. Very Don't say I do not believe you. Next time you interrupt this kind of a party, I will deal with you. No, 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 Benica, don't talk to her. She just let you go. Don't say I do not believe you. If you try this again, you'll regret it. You get it. Rubbish. You can't do anything free in this room. Rubbish.
Hi, it's you I came to see. What? What is it? What's the problem? It's Shakira's new friends. Since Shakira started hanging out with those girls, I don't have friends in this room anymore. You see, that's exactly what I came to actually talk to you about. What is wrong with Shakira? She's acting as if she's possessed or something. No, no, no. I reject it in Jesus' name. Do you know what? Shakira don't even talk about worship, let alone church activities. Since devil throws those girls at her, she has changed totally. I'm surprised. Lady. Lady, what is it? What? What is it, Mary? Mary, what did you do to my friends? Shakira, what is this? Hey, shh, shh. I didn't see for your opinion here. Mary! God, this will be the last time you will ever harass any of my friends! Shakira, what is it? This is your best friend. Not anymore! I swear to God, Mary, the day you will harass any of my friends again, you will see what I will do to you. Shakira, what is wrong with you? Why are you acting as if you're possessed or something? Yes. And you? That embarrassment you gave to me the other day will be the last I will get from you. How do you mean? Let's get all this nonsense punctuated. Dave, can't you use your head? Can't you see that Shakira is on the rise now? Huh? And when a girl is on the rise, she's a step ahead. And when a girl is a step ahead, she's got new class. Can't you see? You see? That is our problem. You can't catch up with the pace. Listen to yourself. Can you hear yourself? Talking about being on the rise, talking about class, churning out all that crap. Listen to me. This whole bullshit is nothing but whoredom. What? You heard me. Prostitution. Be it direct or indirect, disguised or undisguised, it's all prostitution. <laughs> Me. And I will slap you! Dave, Dave, this Dave. is a new dawn, Dave! No, hit me! Go on and hit me! No. Hit me! No! Coward! Go on! You call me a coward. Dave. What are you? Are you anything less than that? Jesus. You can't even kill a toad. So hit me! You want to hit me? Oh. You've seen your match. Hit me now! You don't want to hit again. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Get out! Can't you see you're not wanted here? Can't you see? Shakira. Hey, don't, don't, don't. Just don't call any. Huh? Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Oh! Just try what you did again. Try it! Days you end up dead by the corner of a walkway. Scott, what do you want from me? I want your head on a platter of cheap silver. Scott, I am not preventing you from being the president of ACUG. Why are you bugging me? That is the whole point. The whole point. So when a bog is all up in my grill, the only thing you need to do is put it down and... See? You don't get it, do you? I have to be the SUG president. That's what the student wants. Yeah, yeah, they want Scott We want SUG. Scott for president, That's man! What it's yeah. Scott, man! It's Scott, man! Shut up, man. I'm trying to make a point. I'm the man they want. So you need to step aside and continue to low life. Let me do what I'm destined to do. Well, why don't you let this decide? You see, that is why we cannot think with this more. He thinks in black and white. We need colorful, creative things. Yeah, man, we need colors, Scott. Come to brighten Shut up. up I'm telling you what the deal is. You see, the problem, the whole conflict is that you've been broke ass and dysfunctional and all that. All the broke ass students want to vote for you. And all the rich boys will vote for me. But there are more broke students and rich boys. 
So at the end of the day, you will confuse everybody. So I need to let the students understand that I need to fix things. And the only way I fix things is to bring in some of the money we get. Yeah. The parents are so Smart rich. We don't know what to do with yeah. the money. God. <laughs> Shut up. I'm telling you. So I need to bring you some of that money, help your life out a little bit, you know, man, give you a haircut. When you make a shave, change those cheap ass dish. Buy you a few deodorants, nigga, and get you some boxes. Get you on the grill again, maybe some girls will pay attention to you. Oh? That's the whole point. So why are you finding a guy that's trying to help you? Who is fighting? Hey. Oh, this moron is so something. You don't, you don't seem to understand it, do you? You don't see the picture rides caught in all that dream? Now you listen, Mark. You either drop the dream or you drop dead. Yeah. Well, there are other contestants. Why me? Why you? How come, Negro, you're so dumb you ask all the dumb questions? Why you? <laughs> listen, you've been warned. Because next time I catch your ass being political and saying all those dumb things around me, I'll give you a haircut first. I'll stop you looking like middle so I'll shave you a little bit. I'll buy you some jeans and t-shirt. And most of all, a deodorant, man. I'm gonna get those boys to shave your hair or shave something around you to get me keep you understand what is going on. You know what? I can't be breathing the same air with this wretched look as you did. And up, up, up. Uh -huh. You know, where I come from, we give tips everywhere we go. We're so generous. There you go, kiddo. <laughs> buy yourself a nice one, bro. You don't go buy yourself. I'm looking at it. It's sad. It's bounce, baby. You know what I'm saying? you come into my office and lock the door. Let me have the keys now. Let me have the key. What's the meaning of this? Sir, I wish I could. I don't know. Oh my goodness. You don't even know how to sit down properly like a lady. Now, get out of my office. Get out now. Open the door. Are you deaf? meaning of this nonsense. What's all this? Shakira, I was told you came to see Mr. Theo. I didn't know I was about to disturb anything. No, you certainly are not disturbing anything. What's the meaning of this? What do you mean you don't know? Take your hands off me. Catch your phone. I'm sorry for disturbing you. Who says you disturbed anything? <laughs> Look, come on. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Now pick that up and get out of my office. This very minute. Doctor, it's you. Well, you could do whatever you want to do with this nonsense, especially the parties. Honest and sincere, sir. Then I believe she will tell you the truth. I caught both of them making love right in his office, sir. Well, I would not subscribe to these periods and damaging insinuations. You have to back up your claims with concrete evidence. Benita walked in with me, sir, but she wouldn't want to expose her friend. Sir, 
This is actually why he constantly failed me because I refused doing it with him. Miss J. Yes, sir. I want you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. Has Theo ever asked you for sex in his office? Yes, sir. So many times, sir. And because I refuse, he has also decided to make my life miserable. Sir, it has been constant harassment. Something needs to be done about this. It's becoming so unbearable, sir. Sir, we are not going to give up on this at all. Mark here is very popular amongst the students. And for this reason, they want to stop him. You know, their plan is to install a cultist as the SUG president. And if they do, Jesus, we are doomed. Do you know why I'm happy? No, I don't. I am because you are the genuine future of this country's tomorrow. A hundred of your type nationwide means our country is on the march to greatness. Mark. Sir. I am very proud of you. And I will stand solidly behind you any day, any time. Yes, sir. So I'll go to the vice chancellor and make your presentation. Because you have the right to the freedom of movement, devoid of any intimidation whatsoever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And, uh, sir, I assure you, I assure you that I have a dream for this school. I have a dream for my students, and I have a dream for this nation. And I promise you that I will not succumb to any threat or intimidation. Never. That is the spirit, my boy. The spirit of statemanship. Yes, sir. So uh, I think we've got to go now. Thank you, sir. Well done, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Where is she? Dave, uh, she will soon be here with you. Why don't you sit down and have something to drink? Okay. What will you drink? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm all right. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Dave, I really wonder what you're still doing with my friend. Excuse me? You see, it is not as if I don't want you to date her. But it's just that she's too rotten for a kind of guy like you. Benita, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Um, Dave, you see, I... I invited you here because I want to spend some time with you and talk about the good things of life. Get your hands off me, you slut! What did you call me? You heard me. Slut! Dave, do you know how many men crave to have you in a day? Well then give yourself to them. I'm not interested. Dave, it's not them I want, it's you I want. Please. I'm sorry, it won't work like that. I love Shakira and that's it, okay? Don't you ever touch me. I've been wondering, Shakira, if that is actually your name or you uh, picked it up from the gutters. And what is the meaning of this? No. I was just wondering. Then keep it to yourself. 
Should I advise you, Shakira? Stay away from Dave. I mean, there's nothing getting to him from you. Mark, what is the matter with you? Can't you lay off my back? Huh? Or is this the way you want to lead us as the SUG president? By poking your nose into people's affairs? Well, until then, I will redefine the meaning of studentship. If redefining means bugging free minds like me, then you must be heading for the brick walls. Because you don't even deserve to sit one pole close to the SUG secretariat. Shakira, what's up? What's Dave, yeah. haven't I asked you to tell your brother to lay off my back? Huh? Mark, what is happening again this time? Huh? Get your hands off me, please. And as for you, Mark, why don't you stop pretending? If you think that my sugar is too cool oh, for you to taste it, come on, feel free and let me know. And I will not hesitate to sprinkle it all over the teacup. Not even in my grave. Stay away from my girlfriend. Stay away from us. Dave. Dave, man. Her attitude sucks. Dr. Jerry. This is my position. And no one can change it. I will not nurture in discipline. Mr. Thiel. The case against you is beyond Shakira. And I may not have any option but to take your case to the Senate. Excuse me! Some of your female students have brought petitions against you for sexual harassment and victimizations. Sexual harassment? This is preposterous! It beats me that a man like you, who claims to be a social critical crusader, will engage his female students in sex revives on his office table. And any female student who doesn't want to indulge fails her exams and tests. Dr. Jerry, these are all lies. Lies cleverly concocted to blemish my image. The records are there to show that only those who don't deserve to pass fail my papers. And the categories of those female students who don't deserve to pass your exams are those who refused to put down their parties in your office. Dr. Jerry. It would be most unfortunate that you, you of all people, should buy into such cheap blackmail. It would be better for you to find a common ground among these aggrieved students. I'm sorry, Dr. Jerry, I will do no such thing. Mr. Thiel, put price aside, okay? Let us resolve this matter amicably. Amicably? Good. What's going on in this university system? You want me? To resolve a case of sheer misdemeanor with blackmailing students and makeup me? Okay, okay, where do we start from? Tell me, where do we start from? You are yelling. No, I'm not yelling. I am only reacting to a bizarre provocation. Phew. This fight is business. What your lover boy did to me today. Which of them? Dave, your school boyfriend, of course. What did he do? Shakira, Dave called me on the phone that you wanted to see me in one of the guest houses in town. And when I got there, that animal almost raped me. Dave. Yes. Almost raped me. Your own Dave almost raped me. 
Shakira, I would advise you to stay away from that guy. He is evil. He is very dangerous for you. I swear to God. Mm. Nice apartment. What are you doing here? No. You heard me. So it has gotten to the extent of you trying to rape my friends. Isn't it? I beg your pardon. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Oh, you're trying to play dumb here. Huh? So you told Benita that I was in the guest house so that you could force her to bed, right? Is that what she told you? My God, it, it's all lies. It's, it's the other way around. She told me you were there in a guest house waiting for me. And when I got there, this girl was trying to rape me. Listen, listen. I know this might sound weird to you, but I am telling you the honest truth. This girl was almost going to rape me. Yeah, right. Liar. Shakira, believe. Benita, what's, what, what's this all about? Huh? What is this all about? What are you trying to do? I told you I don't love you. I cannot love you. Get it into your thick head. Why didn't you just tell her the truth? You know, this is not the first time she's been trying to do this. This is not the first time. She's always at it. She's always at what? With who? With you? For what? You are evil. You are a liar. Look, Shakira, I'm off to the library. Once you're through with this imbecile, you can come and join me. Fool. Please, my dear, wait for me. Wait for me, please. Shakira, don't do you again. Now, my friends. Okay. Please, Mr. Man, I am going out and you have to leave my house so that I can lock my door. Please, Mr. Man, I'm going out and I want to lock my door. Wonderful job you did the other day. What are our friends for? That's true. You played the first one that day. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Shakira, I was in your room to grab my money and your roommate told me to pack up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I just moved out, you know. That girl was beginning to piss me off. I couldn't stand her. Jay, Shakira's guy has gotten her a place in town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want her to do you now. I want her to that's by doing my money for the stuff that I did. Now give me your money. Runs girl, runs girl. You can't give me your money. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just talk to you for a moment, please? What is it? I thought you said I was a whore. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I don't know what got over me. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Offenses and apologies hang loosely on your lips, and you just dish them out recklessly at the slightest prompting. Believe me, I swear to God, I'm sorry. Okay? So what do you want from me? I still love you, Shakira. I do. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Dave, don't you have eyes? Can't you see that things are no longer the way it used to be? Ah, oh, Shakira, what has gotten over you lately, man? Why don't you just let things be the way they are supposed to be anyway? Really? Uh huh. You want to know? Yeah. Because there's a rift between us. A rift? Mm hmm. A rift. I mean, a gully. A gap. Shakira, don't sound like that. Don't talk like that. How do I sound? You sound like you're, you're talking tough. I mean, and it doesn't befit your status as a woman, you know. Come you on. see? There you go again. This is one thing that pisses me off. What is so special about you being a man? What? For three years now, I have been messing my life with you. I have told you several times to take a bold step and toss yourself out of poverty, but you wouldn't listen. You know what? Let's not go there. But let me tell you this, though. 
whatever you want in this world, whatever your heart desires, I will fulfill it. I swear to God, I will. Once we graduate and we get out of school and then go do everything we're supposed Dave, to do. Dave, no. N O no. want to learn. Don't pass through the university. Allow the university to pass through you. That is what you do. to stay off this roof. I'm going to cause your family a lot of pain. Do you understand me? You know what? I need to do my philanthropy thing right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being the kind of generous man that I am, I will always be. I'm into philanthropy. I help the disabled. I need to go get your thoughts on you. 